Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Let go of self-judgment and blame. This is kind of a hard card to get, man. Being impeccable, you take responsibility for your actions, but you do not judge or blame yourself for anything. Yeah, interesting. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 643. NASDAQ off 266, S&P's off 76. Gold, gold contract down $6.40, trading at 1843 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents, trading at, 20, at, at 13 cents at $21.99. Light sweet crude off 18 cents, $76.16 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 29 ticks, trading 111.02, the 30 year off a full point, plus 21 ticks at 124.04 in King Dollar. King dollars up 312 ticks, trading at 104, 175, euro 106. Yen out here at a price point of 134.92, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to go right into the futures here because... If we break this low here and the futures, the, the NASDAQ looks like it's going to break it, you're going to have another ABC down, um, which will be really wild, man. So there's been no bounces all day long. You know, we started out here at 4,089. You're down 70 points, uh, 76 points from them. Your first bounce, you know, with volume was down to 230. That, that bar right there, that's got real volume on it. That being said, now watch this. Watch me go to the NQs. It's not the same setup, man. You, you had volume, but there had plenty of volume on the way down also for the NQs. So the NQs are telling me that they're going to go after their low. Now, if, if the NQs break this low and we have volume behind the move, then you get another ABC structure down, and then you are really going to have some heavy stuff coming at you um, into the close because it's been a day just all down all day long. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract traded to uh, 1856. Gave it up on price. You're at 1843. And the real question with gold right now is this going to be another ABC structure down? Because what you're going to have here, let's pull this up. What you're going to see is that we hit we hit a price point on, on Friday of 1827. You got to go after the swing point. And if we break it, let me just see what we got here. You got 1902. We're going to get a 75.8 to B. That would get us into uh, 1775. And my take is we'll go to 1795. Where, where I'm going with this, folks, okay, is that it looks to me like in many of the equities here, if I show you some of the equities here, you can kind of see where my head's at here. I suspect what we're doing, we're going right back to November 8th in the goals, folks, okay? Now, that's a normal occurrence in a market that still wants to go higher. Because what you're going to see here, look at AEM. I mean, AEM come off its high of 58, you're trading 46, okay? There's November 8th right there. This is out in all these. So, AEM is already at November 8th. The top of November 8th, it's at the top, 46.75. The bottom's 42. That's where all the golds took off, off from. We had an extraordinary run up, up going up. We, we actually sold on the way up. Um, and bottom line is that, they, you know, AEM's not coming back right. AEM come out with numbers. That's a high volume low. It's going to get tested. But that's still higher than where I think it's going to go, 42.98. See, that went to 44. So I suspect the good news is it will come back, hit it, get lower, and then basically get into where the straight started from. And that's what all equities love to do. You know, when you're getting big retracements, that, well, it's not when you get big retracements. It's when you get large runs. We had a very large run in all the gold stocks. Now you're pulling back. My take is that this is going to be like a buy extraordinaire. And my take also is that what we're going to see when that buy comes in, because this, this will be the buy on a shorter term basis for the market also, because what we'll see is that that dollar, we get over to the dollar, you're gonna see the dollar 
basically getting up to the 106 to 107 mark. That's the 0.382 retracement, okay, of the move down. And then we're going to go to the TY, which is the 10-year, okay? And the 10-year, I'm expecting, the, look at this volume today, 253,000 contracts, monster contract volume. And my take is in the 10-year, wants to come right back to where that took off. See, that took off, uh, what is that date? That's November 10th. Well, is it? Yeah, it's November 10th. I'm going to the same thing. Um, at 110.22. You know, we're getting close to it, man, because we're already at 111. And in fact, you know, what's going to be cool here is this. If, we, if the bonds break that area, then, you know, bottom line, this bond wants to go a lot further down on the get-go that we're in right now. And that would be saying that the dollar would actually get above the 106, 107. There's plenty of stuff to look at right now. That's the real bottom line to figure out where these bounces can come in. Because the correlation goes, bond market interest rates sends the dollar higher, dollar higher sends everything lower. If you just cut to the chase, that's kind of how it shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today that we have, you know, you get uh, Tesla down nine bucks. We got, uh, let's see. Well, let's go into the Dow Industrials first because inside the Dow, uh, Walmart, Home Depot come out with numbers. They bought Walmart. They sold Home Depot. It's pretty, Home Depot was down. I mean, Walmart was down four bucks. Now it's up 46 cents. But putting juice into the, oh, this is, even, this is even funny. This is pretty sick. That Walmart's the strongest stock inside the Dow today. That's, there's something wrong with that, folks. Home Depot, Home Depot's taking out swing points with volume. That's, that's putting 136 negative points. Goldman, 49. Caterpillar, 45. And if we go take a look at Home Depot, what you're going to see, you're, you're breaking all the consolidation. You're breaking it with volume. Bottom line, you can see this, the swing points there. We had swing point of uh, 3.7 million. You blew it away. We already had 7 million. You're going into the strength. The gap on Walmart is uh, 292.50. We're at 297. There's no reason not going to fill it, but it gets heavier than that because if I take the top, the bottom, 307. Stay right here, folks. Come right back.